Hello, this is a quick introduction to ACME, the uh, environment in Plan 9. And here you see a screen that shows uh, my desktop, and it's pretty close to what you get from a fresh installation of Plan 9, with the exception of this box in the corner, which has three ovals, which represent the three buttons of my mouse. And it'll show um, the status of my mouse buttons as a press button, so you can follow along what I'm pressing. For example, here you see me clicking with the first button, the second button, and the third button. So this is Acme, this window right here, and you notice it's broken up into a number of columns. There's three columns currently, and then in each column there's uh, one or more windows. Um, these little boxes at the top of the column let you uh, grab and drag around the columns to resize them with the first button. There's also little boxes on the windows in the column that let you drag to resize the windows within each column. Now, I don't really want this column here, so I'm going to middle click on delete and middle click on delete here to get rid of those windows and middle click on delete column to get rid of this. So as you may have noticed, there's uh, three buttons and each of them are pretty significant in plan line. So if you have a two button mouse, you're probably not going to be enjoying yourself very much. Um, you can either click or drag with each of these mouse buttons to uh, get different effects. For example, um, with button 1 dragging, I can select the word scroll in this window. If I drag with button 3, it selects in a slightly different color, and it actually does a different function, which is a search function in this case. Or if I were to click or drag with the middle button, I get yet another color, and in this case it actually tries to do an execution. So. So the three functions here are for uh, button one is using, used for positioning your mouse and for selecting text. Button two is used for um, executing commands. We've seen a few of these already when I had clicked on um, delete. If I had middle clicked on new, I get a new window, and middle click on delete will close that window. Um, there's nothing really special about these things I'm clicking on. They're just plain old text. It just so happens that the word new means something special to Acme. You can also invoke commands that aren't special to Acme, but are normal commands for the shell by using this button as well. And we'll see some more of that later. And finally, the last button here is for um, selection um, and searching. Um, when I select the word text and click on it, it finds the next instance. And I can continue to click to get succeeding, in succeeding instances in the file. Um, you can also use this button to pull up new files. For example, if I were to click on user Glenda here, it actually is going to pull up a directory, um, this one right here, which has all my files. And then if I wanted to click on lib, it will actually open up a new window with the lib directories listings. And if I were to click on profile, it will open up a file that contains commands that are run when I first log in. I'm going to delete these with the middle button on Dell to get rid of those. The windows also have these scroll bars on the side. And people who are familiar with other windowing systems will be comfortable pressing the middle button and dragging around the scroll bar. But you can also use the first button to scroll up and the third button to scroll down in increments. And the increment that you scroll by is dependent on how far down the scroll bar you are. So if you're closer to the bottom, you get really big movements. And if you're closer to the top, you get really small movements. You can also use the arrows to uh, scroll through the file. I'm pressing the up and down arrow keys right now. So we've already seen that there you have a number of windows um, in columns. You may have wondered what, what the difference is between this blue text and this um, text in the beige area. The text in the blue area is called a tag, and it has commands for that window. And the text in the beige area is what's actually being, being edited or viewed. Um, but they're both just text, and it turns out that you can actually run commands just by typing them in any part of the window and clicking on them. So clicking on delete here is no difference than, different than clicking on delete here. The window has um, parts of the tag that aren't editable. Over here I can't really type in new text, but every, everything after this pipe symbol, I can type in new text here to add new commands to my window. Um, for example, if I wanted to put a command here that I would like to run, I can type it right there and click on it to run it. 
There's also a part of the, win the window tag that specifies the file that's being worked on. And this is also used for contextual information about which directory you're in. For example, if this part read sys source 9 PC, then all of the uh, commands invoked in this window would be relative to that directory. Just as any command in invoked in this window or in these tags here would be relative to the user blended directory. So, as an example of uh, running commands, um, you can just type in commands in any window like this one right here. And if you were to click on it with the middle button, it would actually execute that command. In this case, the command has output, and it's going to open up a new window with the same directory, but with plus errors at the end that contains any of the uh, output or error messages that come from that command. And only one such window will be open, even if you have multiple windows for the same directory. So, for example, if I run another command here, LC, that will also run with its output in that same window. And I can scroll through this. And this is just another editable text window, just like um, any other one. Again, I can use commands we've already seen, like clicking with button 3 to open a file. Or if any of these were executable, I could just middle click on them to execute that name. If you're used to a more traditional window uh, windowing terminal environment, then the WIN command will be useful for you. When you click on WIN, you get a new terminal where input and output go to the same window, just like in a normal terminal. But it's also an editable window, as we've seen previously. You can scroll up and down with the scroll bar with the arrows, or you can edit the text that's pre that appears above or below, or you can actually click on it to perform actions, such as uh, searching for RAND, there's only one instance, or WAVE. Or clicking files to open them. Or even clicking on commands to run them.